For the first time, humanity has journeyed so far into space. The pilot must be ecstatic about this achievement. Monitor signs of a panic attack. From Earth, space always appears fascinating and captivating. However, at a tremendous distance from home, existential terror looms for humanity. Astrophobia. Hello and welcome to Z. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon. In the 1970s, astronomers discovered vast regions in the universe inexplicably devoid of galaxies, known as voids. The Boötes void spans a staggering 330 million light years in diameter. There should be at least 2,000 galaxies here, but only 60 have been detected. This is the most isolated vacuum in the universe, and even a spaceship traveling at the speed of light could never escape the Boötes void. The expansion of the universe keeps pushing you back into this unfathomable cosmic swamp. Compared to this, the Eridanus supervoid feels like an ocean. In a spherical space about 2 billion light years in diameter, there's room for 20,000 galaxies, but it's filled with nothing. Some scientists believe it might be a gigantic black hole formed after the Big Bang. Falling into it means plunging into complete darkness. However, the true fear isn't the destructive gravity but something worse. With a black hole this size, you travel toward the singularity at the center for billions of years, and only your ashes would eventually arrive. Even in areas with plenty of matter, space remains terrifying. In the NGC 1333 Nebula, amidst clouds of dust and gas, new stars are forming. But flying too close means being fried by streams of hot gas from thermonuclear reactions. The densest part of the nebula would leave nothing of you but charred bones. What about the hundreds of exoplanets waiting for us to visit? Most of them are downright terrifying. Kepler, 10b, resembling Mercury, orbits extremely close to its sun-like star. Oceans of molten iron dominate here with temperatures nearing 1,400 degrees Celsius, making it a giant cauldron for sinners. You wouldn't survive to reach the surface, as powerful convective currents would atomize you miles away. KLT 9b is even worse. Twice the size of Jupiter, its super-hot star heats its daylight side to 4,300 degrees Celsius, hotter than most red dwarf stars. The dark side offers no safety, with winds speeding up to 60 kilometers per second blowing you back into the fiery hell. Local clouds of ionized iron and titanium atoms would shred even the toughest space suit, cooking you inside. The gas giant in the AU Microscopy I system seems calmer until you turn on the Geiger counter. The young star has filled space with highly radioactive clouds. The dense atmosphere of AU Microscopy IB, already saturated with radioactive dust, resembles a molten Chernobyl reactor. Even a shielded probe wouldn't survive here, let alone an astronaut. Our own solar system also harbors astrophobia-inducing places. Saturn looks stunning with its rings from a distance, but up close, it's an endless ocean of toxic gases. Fragments of Saturn's rings constantly rain down, generating storms with lightning hundreds of times more powerful than on Earth. The real monster is Saturn's neighbor, Jupiter, which could fit 1,300 Earths inside it. Flying around its equator on a hypersonic aircraft would take almost 45 hours. Running out of fuel means facing endless storms akin to nuclear explosions as you plunge into the planet's depths transitioning from icy clouds to a searing swamp of hydrogen and helium. Your body would be crushed like by a hydraulic press. The Great Red Spot, a deadly storm raging for several hundred years, could easily swallow Earth whole. Jupiter's moon Ganymede, larger than Mercury, has an active magnetosphere. Beneath its ice, for subterranean oceans may harbor bizarre life forms. Imagine plankton-like creatures slowly digesting you along with your space suit, while giant crustacean-like creatures thrive in the low gravity. 
Neptune's moon Triton is covered in fissures and scars caused by enigmatic black geysers that shoot into space at temperatures below minus 235 degrees Celsius. Any scientific data would take over four hours to travel back to Earth at the speed of light. The journey back from Triton to Earth with current technology would take over 25 years. Space harbors bizarre stars to fear from Earth. In 2020, astronomers identified a neutron star with an abnormally strong magnetic field, a trillion times more powerful than Earth's. Approaching a magnetar would cause instant nervous system shutdown. In 2004, a magnetar burst made Earth's magnetic field shudder, unleashing a beam stronger than any Death Star weapon. In October 2022, gamma radiation bombarded Earth for over 10 hours, causing molecules in the upper atmosphere to split into atoms. Another gamma burst could obliterate the ozone layer, resulting in a silent nuclear war-like catastrophe. Even more exotic, deadly rays come from quasars, massive black holes that flood their surroundings with deadly radiation. Quasars may have prevented life from emerging in the early universe. Luckily, the supermassive black hole Sagittarius A asterisk at the center of our galaxy isn't a quasar. However, a collision with the Andromeda galaxy might change that, causing a deadly cosmic show in the sky and frying bacteria in our crust. Perhaps the scariest aspect of space is its black void beyond Earth. Exploding star nurseries and strange exoplanets exist without purpose in a completely dead universe. Astrophobia might be our way of giving meaning to the universe out of fear. Are you afraid of space now? Astrophobia, or the fear of outer space, might seem irrational to some. Yet it is a phobia rooted in the vast, mysterious and often terrifying nature of the cosmos. The universe is an expansive realm filled with phenomena that challenge our understanding and evoke profound fear. This essay explores the most terrifying aspects of space that fuel astrophobia, delving into black holes, supernovae, gamma ray bursts, rogue planets, and the incomprehensible vastness of space itself. Black holes, cosmic abysses, Black holes are among the most fearsome entities in space. These regions of space-time exhibit gravitational pulls so intense that nothing, not even light, can escape once cross the event horizon. The idea of an object with such immense power that it can distort time and space is inherently terrifying. For instance, if one were to venture near a black hole, they would experience spaghettification a process where gravitational forces stretch and compress objects into long, thin shapes. The ultimate fate within a black hole remains one of the universe's greatest mysteries, sparking both awe and fear. Supernovae, stellar explosions. Supernovae, the cataclysmic explosions of stars, are another source of cosmic terror. When a star exhausts its nuclear fuel, it can collapse under its own gravity and explode releasing an amount of energy equivalent to a billion suns. This explosion can outshine entire galaxies for a brief period and emit lethal doses of radiation. The shock waves from a supernova can trigger the formation of new stars, but they can also obliterate nearby planetary systems. The sheer power and destructive capability of these stellar detonations are enough to instill fear in anyone contemplating the potential for a supernova to impact our own solar system. Gamma ray bursts, deadly cosmic beams. Gamma ray bursts, GRBs, are the universe's most powerful known explosions since the Big Bang. These bursts release more energy in a few seconds than the sun will emit over its entire 10 billion year lifetime. A GRB directed at Earth from a nearby star could strip away the ozone layer, exposing the planet to deadly ultraviolet radiation and causing mass extinctions. The randomness and unpredictability of these bursts contribute to their terrifying nature, as we have no defense against such a cosmic catastrophe. Rogue planets, wanderers of the void. Rogue planets, which drift through space without orbiting any star, add to the unnerving elements of astrophobia. These planets could potentially collide with other celestial bodies, including Earth. Their existence challenges our understanding of planetary formation and stability within the galaxy. The concept of enormous, 
unanchored masses traveling through the cold void of space evokes a sense of profound unease and fear. The vastness of space, infinite isolation, Perhaps the most existentially terrifying aspect of space is its vastness and the profound isolation it imposes. The universe is so incomprehensibly large that the distances between celestial bodies are measured in light years. The distance light travels in a year, which is about 5.88 trillion miles. The nearest star to Earth, Proxima Centauri, is over four light years away. This immense scale renders space travel incredibly daunting and emphasizes our insignificance in the cosmic scale. The idea of being lost in the infinite expanse of space, with no hope of rescue, is a fear that underscores many science fiction narratives and taps into deep-seated human anxieties about isolation and the unknown. Conclusion Astrophobia is not merely a fear of the dark void beyond our atmosphere. It is a complex and multifaceted fear of the unknown the powerful, and the infinite. Black holes, supernovae, gamma-ray bursts, rogue planets, and the sheer vastness of space each contribute to this fear in unique ways. As humanity continues to explore and understand the cosmos, we may find that these fears evolve, transforming from terrifying mysteries into profound sources of knowledge and inspiration. Until then, the terrifying elements of space will continue to haunt our imaginations and fuel our astrophobia. Thank you for watching and see you next time.